The Hurrian religion was the polytheistic religion of the Hurrians, a Bronze Age people of the Near East. These people settled over a wide area, so there were differences between them, especially between the eastern Hurrians around Nuzi and Arafa and the western Hurrians in Syria and Anatolia. From the 14th century BC, the Hurrian religion had a powerful influence on the Hittite religion and the Hurrian pantheon is depicted in the 13th century rock reliefs at the important Hittite sanctuary at Yazilikaya. Evidence <inaudible> <inaudible> There is a lot of evidence for Hurrian religion and its regional differences. The oldest evidence comes from Urkish and dates to the 3rd millennium BC. Among the richest sources, is the material from the Hittite archives of the Hittite capital of Hattusa, which is partially composed of Hurrian language texts and partially of Hurrian works translated into the Hittite language. Several Hurrian ritual texts survive from Ugarit, written in the Ugaritic alphabet, which are mostly lists of gods. The Amarna letters from King Tushrata of Mitanni and the treaty documents provide evidence about the Hurrian-influenced religion practiced among the Mitanni. The archives of individual Syrian cities, like Emar, Mari and Alalik, also contain Hurrian texts. The evidence from Eastern Hurrians is very different and texts only provide evidence for civic pantheons. <laughs> Gods. The Hurrians worshipped a great number of gods derived from various different cultures, especially Mesopotamia and Syria. Many gods were syncretized with Mesopotamian and Syrian deities over time, for example, Saska was identified with Ishtar of Nineveh, Tesub with the weather god of Aleppo, Kusa with the moon god Sin von Haran and the sun god Simij with Samas of Sippar. This syncretism also embraced the native partners of the gods, like the Syrian Habat as wife of Tesub among the western Hurrians, Nikol as wife of the moon god, and Aya as wife of the sun god. The chief god of the Hurrians was the weather god Tesub. All of the Hurrians also worshipped Saska, god of love and war, the fertility god Kumarbi, the moon god Kusa and the sun god Simij. Only the western Hurrians worshipped Habat and her son Saruma, who were of Syrian origin. Other important deities were the mother goddesses Hadina Hudalara, the Syrian oath goddess Ashara and Kababa, as well as the Mesopotamian god of wisdom, Ea Eya Sari, and the death god Ujur. At least among the western Hurrians, the gods were divided into male and female groups, as is clear in the Kaluti lists from Hattusa. The male gods were led by Tesub in his various manifestations, while the female gods Astohina were led by Habat and her children. The order of the gods and goddesses in these lists is not entirely fixed, but lists of gods from Hattusa and Ugarit show clear similarities. Also, the presence of groups of gods, especially the father gods is shared in these lists. No similar lists of gods are known from the eastern Hurrian area. Dyads or double gods sharing a single cult are also typical of the Hurrians. For example, Habat and her son Saruma formed the dyad Habat Saruma. Mythology The Hurrians produced literary accounts of their myths, in which Mesopotamian and Syrian influences are clear. The most important myths form the Kumarbi cycle, which parallels the Ugaritic Baal cycle, which recounts how the Ugaritic weather god Baal became the ruler of the gods. Similarly, the Kumarbi cycle recounts how Tesub gained his power and made it firm, thus, some scholars refer to it as the Tesub cycle. The cycle begins with the kingship of heaven myth, in which a succession of kings of the gods Alalu, Anu and Kumarbi and their battles are quickly described, before recording the conception and birth of Tesub. The following myths recount how Kumarbi generates ever more powerful opponents to destroy Tesub. These include Ushuni, silver, the water dragon Hedemu, and finally the rock monster Ulakumi. There is also the myth of the guardian god, who is temporarily installed as the king of the gods, but neglects the divine offerings. Unfortunately, most of the myths are only transmitted as fragments. This cycle may have been a source of the myths about the Greek gods recounted in Hesiod's Theogony. The castration of Uranus by Cronus may be derived from the castration of Anu by Kumarbi, while Zeus S overthrow of Cronus and Cronus's regurgitation of the swallowed gods is like the Hurrian myth of Teshub and Kumarbi. 
It has also been argued that the worship of Attis drew on Hurrian myth. In addition to the myths, there are also narratives and legends, like the history of Appu and his two sons, Wrong and Right, and the account of the sun god and the cow. In both legends, the sun god appears as a young man. There are traces of heroic epics among this category. Topic. Cosmology Topic. The Hurrians treated Earth and Heaven as gods but they were not depicted as anthropomorphic deities. Since creation, they had rested on the shoulders of the giant Ubelori who is also meant to have separated Earth and Heaven from one another with a copper sickle. In the reliefs of Yazilikaya two bull men are depicted standing on the Earth, holding up the heavens. The dead went to the underworld, which was ruled by the goddess Alani. The underworld also housed the lower gods, Anaturina. The Hurrian gods made offerings to these thonic powers, which they placed in offering pits dug in the earth. The ancestors were also given offerings in this way. <laughs> Practice the Hurrians built sanctuaries and temples where they worshipped their deities. They deified cult implements, like the incense burners and the offering dishes, as well as divine symbols like the weapons of Tesub and the bed of Habat. Images of the gods were cleaned, anointed, and dressed. A well-attested example of Western Hurrian ritual mixed with Luwian religion is the Hittite Isuwa festival. The Hurrian gods do not appear to have had particular home temples like in the Mesopotamian religion or ancient Egyptian religion. Some important cult centers were Kumani in Kizuwatna, and Hittite Yazilikaya. Haran was at least later a religious center for the moon god, and Shaska had an important temple in Nineveh, when the city was under Hurrian rule. A temple of Nergal was built in Urkish in the late 3rd millennium BCE. The town of Kahat was a religious center in the kingdom of Mitanni. Magical spells were an important part of religious practice. Rain rituals had a particularly important role. Hurrian magical practices are often very similar to Mesopotamian practices, which is also true of Hurrian divination practices, in which hepatoscopy played an important role. See also Hittite mythology References Topic. Topic. Bibliography. Topic. Emmanuel Laroche. Tessub, Habat et Lur Cower. Journal of Cuneiform Studies, Volume 2, Number 2, 1948, pp. 113 to 136. DOI: 10.2307/1359380. Peter Taracha, Religions of Second Millennium Anatolia. Harasovitz, Wiesbaden 2009, ISBN 978-3-447-05885-8 Ilse Wegner, Heritisch Opferlissen aus Hethitischen Festbeschreibungen. Teal 2, Texte für Tessub, Habat und Weiter Gottheiten equals Corpus der Heritischen Sprechdenkmäler. Apt, 1, Die Texte aus Bogeskoi. BD, 3. Multigrafica Editrice, ROM 2002, ISBN 88-87345-07-4